Right, you guys, how long do solid state drives last? That is a question I see people asking all the time and also curious on how long their SSD is going to last. Now, there's four types of SSD storage available. You've got single level cell, which is your SLC, multi-level cell, MLC, and then you've got your triple level cell, your TLC, and then you've got your quad level cell, which is your QLC. So whether you've got an SSD, a standard SSD, or an NVMe drive, or something like this, a Gen 4 uh, Rocket NVMe, they will all have their own uh, type of SLC, MLC, TLC, or QLC. And you'll have to find out which one yours is. And it all comes down to the cost of how much it costs. Also, you can tell how much terabytes has been written. And if you look here, this says 6.1 uh, terabytes have been written on this drive so i know that this is how much data has been written on it and this is how we uh, find out how long the drive will last because we can go to the website and check for uh, terabytes written on that drive and how durable these drives are so if you look here this one has got 586 gigabytes uh, written on that drive so that's how you can find out, and that's Crystal Disk Info. So if I go over to the Kingston website here and look for my NVMe drive, which I've got in this machine, and you can do this for any type of SSD or NVMe, you can go to the manufacturer's website and take a look, and it will give you all the information about what that drive is and what the information is. They normally have either a data sheet there, which you can see up the top there. I can click on the data sheet, and sometimes they're nice enough to list it all on the website itself. So let's take a look at the information for this particular drive. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying turn off, uh, you know, certain features on Windows to stop it right into the drive and prolong the life of your drive. But as you can see here, this particular drive has the one terabyte version. It has 600 terabytes written to that drive. I can write 600 terabytes to that drive, which is a lot of data. That's a, a lot of years that this drive is going to last now if you look on the website also it will tell you what NAND it is you can see this is 3d TLC NAND which means it has 96 layer uh, on there you can see that written on the actual document there so what does that mean it's not the best most expensive drive but it's a pretty good drive and it should last quite a while they also give you a warranty it will tell you how much warranty you have five years warranty and you can see they offer free technical support for this particular drive as well. Now there's another area here which means mean time between failures, MTBF. And you can see they've given that 2 million hours. You can also check out websites which will tell you what all this SLC, MLC, TLC and QLC means. It means the SLC is going to be the more expensive type of drive to get. And it's the more durable drives. And as you go down, it means they're less durable. But even so, they still last quite a long time. As you can see here, the TLC one has less than half the MLC service life and the PE uh, cycle, which is approximately 500 to 1000 for the TLC. And you can work it out as well with calculators online if you want to try to get some sort of specific sort of number to tell you how many terabytes you write in a day and how long roughly that drive is going to last unfortunately there is no real formula to be used that's going to be able to test the exact ssd lifespan but you can get an average on how long it's going to last by looking at the tbw terabytes written and also the mean time to failure which can also give you some idea of how long that drive is going to last you can also check out websites online. There's plenty of information out there which give you formulas to calculate roughly how much in years your drive will last. But there is no real guarantee that that drive will last that long because it depends on, you know, the way you use your drive and what sort of drive you are buying. So if you're buying something like this Western Digital Black SN850 NVMe drive, you can see it's quite a bit of money. But this drive is an exceptionally good drive. You can see it has 1,200 terabytes written high endurance drive, which means it's meant for gaming, 
video editing and things like that. So you're getting the super fast speeds as well. Look at those speeds, 7,000 uh, reads and also 5,100 writes. That is a highly durable drive with high performance and it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Same as this Seagate 2 terabyte Fire Cuda. You can see this one's also NVMe uh, Gen 4 and it's a super fast drive with high terabytes written, 3,600 terabytes written. This means that you're going to be able to do all your gaming, all your video editing, and you are going to be able to do all that sort of stuff on these. Now, I've purchased plenty of these particular types of drives as well, which I sort of class as the uh, middle of the road sort of Gen 3 uh, sweet spot area, which is the reads are 2,400 and the writes are 1,950. You've got a five-year warranty on them. They're pretty durable and pretty affordable. Now, the Kingston A400 240 gigabyte or 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD, this is just an SSD in an M.2 form. It's not going to be super fast. It's going to be probably 500 reads, 500 writes, something along those lines. You get a three-year limited warranty. But if you're looking to do hardcore gaming on these, and also hardcore video editing on it, you're going to basically kill this drive very, very quickly. So bear that in mind, pick the right drive for the right type of work that you're doing, and you should be pretty good to go. So in cost-wise, it will be QLC is the cheapest, TLC, then MLC, then SLC, and it will go up in cost. And also the speeds change as well with those particular types of drives and durability. So bear that all in mind. Anyway, that's about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.